a labor survey to address Tobago's productivity, NGOs get lessons on how to keep Tobago's culture relevant, and the highlights from this year's goat and crab races. Info Update Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews, reviews Along with responses, comments and events affecting you Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly The issue of Tobago's productivity will be addressed Let's find out more from Alyssa Crosby The Secretary in the Division of Finance and Enterprise Development, Joel Jack met with the Tobago chapter of the Chamber of Commerce and the Tobago Corporate Credit Union League. During that meeting, the Chamber raised the issue of labour shortages on the island, explaining that it impacts on the success of their businesses. Mr Jack says his division will be undertaking a study to address the labour and productivity issues. He also promised to continue speaking to the island's business groups with the aim of increasing performance. The Credit Union Society also raised the issue of the Government Proposed Credit Union Bill 2014 and the Cooperative Society Bill 2014. These will replace the Cooperative Society Act of 1971 and will transfer supervision of credit unions from the Commissioner for Cooperative Development to the Central Bank. In Trinidad, credit unions have protested against it. One of their complaints is that the bills were laid in the Senate without prior notice. The Credit Union Society here, too, has concerns, which Mr. Jack says he'll try to address. He's promised to establish a working group, which will be mandated to come up with strategies. I'm Melissa Crosby for Info Update. From finance, we move to culture to tell you that community and cultural groups on the island have benefited from a series of training workshops which included management of government funds and grant proposal writing. The coordinator of culture in the Division of Community Development and Culture, Glenda Rose Lane, says the division is taking steps to ensure that the cultural groups change the way they look at the industry. People need to understand what is the global standards because the cultural and creative industry doesn't only speak to us. It speaks on a global level. How do we participate on the world stage? If we really want to talk industry, we have to speak world stage. She says the division is committed to ensuring these cultural groups account for funding they get. As it pertains to management of government funds, that is so important mm -hmm. because it speaks also to transparency and all of that. So all these things, it's not about what, where the weaknesses are, if that was one of the weaknesses, mm -hmm. but it's about ensuring that they know, ensuring that it is done right. Ms. Lane says the division will continue to offer training to the people involved in the creative and cultural industries throughout the year. The Buku Goat and Crab Races again attracted thousands of local, regional and international visitors to see the unusual sport. And the organizers didn't disappoint. Here's a recap of the day. That was just one of the 15 goat races done at the 90th annual Goat and Crab Race Festival held at the Buku Integrated Facility. Patrons also got to view two crab races. More than that, there was entertainment from local acts such as the Culture Club, the Scarborough RC Speechettes, and the Junior Calypso Monarch 2015 Gavi Sandy. One English visitor, Phoebe Taylor, says she enjoyed her day at the races. It's really fun. I think they should do it in England as well. The area representative, Ansel Dennis, explains why the festival has been able to survive this long. It's really you, the people. It's not about, you know, just the Tobago House of Assembly or Be Mobile or any other private entity sponsoring these events. But the real power and the real dynamism of this event really has to do with the togetherness and the unity of the people. According to the Secretary for Community Development and Culture, Dr. Denise Soefat Angus, its sustainability comes from the sacrifices of those who went before. Our ancestors did not lament not having horses. They used goats. They did not wait for beautiful facilities such as this. And so they used traps. This year, the festival was made possible through the collaborative efforts of villagers, as well as sponsorship from private enterprises and the Tobago House of Assembly. I'm Umudara Mills for Info Update. And that's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Lois Vincent and you've been listening to Info Update.